I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Rivulet Riesling 2018 from Tasmania. So the story behind Rivulet is, uh, is one that not many people would know about because Rivulet is a tiny, tiny, what we call a micro boutique. Uh, it doesn't actually exist as a winery or a vineyard. Um, Kira O'Brien is, is the winemaker and she is one of the team of winemakers who work at Winemaking Tasmania, which is the biggest contract winemaking outfit in Tasmania. So she helps to make wine for many different small vineyards around the state. And Rivulet is her own brand. Um, I suspect that the quantities of what she makes are tiny, tiny. And she makes a Riesling, obviously, which we've got here, 2018. She also makes a blend of Riesling, Chardonnay, and a grape called Zigareba, which is a German variety, which is very, very little grown in this part of the world. Um, that's called Le Tang, that wine. And she also produces a, a, a Pinot and Pinot Noir, Pinot Murnia blend called Cinco, which uh, I don't think I've tasted, which I'm sure would be very interesting as well. She's obviously a very good winemaker. She's a pro, she's a professional at it, and this is her sort of nighttime job, I suppose you'd say. Um, Kira O'Brien is her name. The grapes for this wine come from the Brim Creek Vineyard, uh, which is down the south end of the East Coast wine region, as you're driving from Hobart to Port Arthur, you would pass by that vineyard. The, uh, the Brim Creek Vineyard is actually a, wine, a vineyard that has its grapes made into wine at Winemaking Tasmania. So obviously Kira would be closely involved with Fred Peacock and his Brim Creek brand. So hence she's managed to get some grapes from him to make this wine. And um, uh, that vineyard is the oldest or is believed to be the oldest planting of Riesling in Tasmania, planted in 1974, which was the same year Piper's Brook was established and a couple of other uh, perhaps less, less well-known vineyards. But um, there's a lot of history there. These are senior vines. These are well-established vines. And the wine is, um, as you'd expect, an outstanding wine. It won a gold medal at the 2020, 2020 Tasmanian Wine Show, which I chaired. Um, and um, it's, uh, it's come up again in our tastings. So what does this wine taste like? 2018 Rivulet Riesling, it's got a, nearly three years of age now, so you'd expect it's starting to fill out and become a little more complex with age. Color is still very light, very light yellow color, not quite as pale as it would have been two years ago, two or three years ago. But the aroma is quite interesting. It's got a distinct aroma of kaffir lime leaves, which is quite common with, with cool climate Riesling. But there's a sort of a salty character as well, a kind of like oyster brine character, which is also a very typical thing with Riesling, especially from, from Tasmania. Quite like that. It's not just simple monochrome Riesling citrus or, or whatever. It's got extra dimension to it. Very good intensity. And beautifully delicate wine, very fine. The texture is beautifully fine, has good length of flavor and crispness. There's plenty of acidity there. It's nice and vibrant on the finish, refreshing on the finish. Even though there's obviously a touch of residual sugar in there, there's a little sweetness in there, which I think helps to balance the wine. If it wasn't for that sweetness, it might be a little bit too tart, but it's beautifully done. How do we score this wine? We scored 95 out of 100, so it's a gold ribbon score. And it uh, was rated number six out of 57 2018 vintage Rieslings from Tasmania, which is a top rank score. And as I said, we recommend drinking it over the next eight to 10 years, but it will last longer than that. But peak drinking certainly in the next um, five to six, seven years. Gorgeous wine. So we asked Kira, the winemaker, Kira O'Brien, what she would like to serve with this wine, and she said without any hesitation, freshly shucked Bruni Island oysters. Uh, it is amazing how many oysters those Tasmanians eat, and I'm, I'm right with them. I'm a great oyster lover myself, and I think that wine would go very well with those oysters. So, cheers to that. Mm -hmm.